Hi, Stitch Cuties. I'm Brittany. And I'm Julie. And together we're the mother daughter duo of Stitches of Love. I cannot wait to learn this stitch. Today, Julie is going to show us the buttonhole wheel, which is so much fun. I can't wait. Yeah, it's basically a buttonhole that you just come around to the center of a wheel, of a circle. Um, and what's nice about this, this one here, it's divided, it has lines that are divided um, into four quadrants. And I'm going to use those to start with um, in the center here. And then you come up and I'm going to go across to one stitch here and then I'm thread through that loop. Oops. So and you started by coming up in the center. Mm -hmm. And I ended up with basically a buttonhole stitch. And now I'm going to come back down in the same hole. Well, I'll just do a, a stab and stitch one. I'm holding my thread there and I'm going to come in between that. So you come back up through your loop. Onto the outer line in my circle. And, it, and cool. I'm just going to keep coming down into that hole. I love it. It looks nice if you make it the same distance apart, but you don't have to. It's a flower. Now, what are fun applications for this? Obviously, flower centers. Where else could you use this type of stitch? A buttonhole stitch? Or like in a, in a buttonhole wheel. Anything that's a circle, you could put it on if you want to <laughs> fill your circle. I guess I asked a silly question. I'm not sure how to answer that. Um, this one's fun because it's variegated thread. And so particularly because it's not a really large circle, if you don't want to have um, this purple show up more, you want to save this more of this orange, but you're not at the orange. And that'll get you started with the orange. And if you want tips on the variegated thread, if you go all the way back to the beginning of this hand embroidery video series, in the first video, we talk about where you not to get the color for your variegated thread. Mm -hmm. Oh, and when you talk about another area, you can use this. You could actually do a stitch like this on, can I see that? There. There you go. On this little checkered band sort of that's going around. Uh-huh. You can do it on this. And you would end up with one side would be have the whole buttonhole around it, but the other side would have nothing. So would you come back with a back, back stitch? I would come back with a back stitch. Okay. Yeah. And you can see I'm pulling this a little tight here. So at the end, there. There you go. Just want to make sure it lays nicely. So that's basically it. So you go down through the center and then come back up where you want the next stitch to be mm -hmm. through your loop. Yep. It's really, it looks like a complicated stitch, but that's it's very simple. It's very quite easy, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm wondering right now, I'm thinking of something. I wonder if you could do a nice stitch by like a few, this is how you would end it right here like that. Mm -hmm. You just went, you just tacked I it just down. tacked it down. But you could come back and add more. Let's see, it's easier to come down into your hole than it is to start back up in your hole. Um, so what are you doing now? I'm, I'm seeing if we could come up and go make add more to it if we wanted to. So now you're doing almost like a double layer. Yeah, you could double it. Or you could just go back and add long stitches in between like this. Look at this. This is fun. Oh, especially in a variegated thread. Once you get to like the next color in the thread, you could go back where the original thread color was and add that variation. Like now you're doing the orange over the purple. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing because you know, it's fun to play. This will, this will probably, is this going to aggravate you? No, I mean, it's not the stitch we're teaching, but. <laughs> well, I'm just modifying it. But you saw at the beginning where she I was doing. I showed you how to do it. And then you could go back and add into it um, if you wanted to. But I like it better with just the plain buttonhole. It's fun. There you go. So stick to the original part of the tutorial. <laughs> 
But again, with all stitching, you can have fun with it. That's the whole point of it. It's coloring with threads. So you can be yes. creative and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like it, since we knotted that off, you could cut that out. Oh, well, there you go. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can watch this and more video tutorials about hand embroidery and a variety of other topics within quilting. And in the meantime, happy, happy stitching. stitching.